Ah. Good morning guys, and welcome back to another day on the farm. Well, now we're starting to get a bit settled around this area, we thought we'd go pick ourselves up another dog. So, welcome to our new friend Ajax. Yeah, he is gorgeous. <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> Uh, so unfortunately, even though as gorgeous as Ajax is, him and Min Min really don't get along. So for the next couple of weeks, I reckon we'll keep these guys a little bit separated while Ajax fits himself into the new farm. What do you reckon, Ajax? You want to go for a run? Go for a run? Yeah, go for a run. Come on. As I said, guys, he's absolutely gorgeous. Where's you out a bit? He's got so much energy. Bugger. Ah, well, I thought there was a bit of commotion down in the back paddock there this morning, and I thought I'd go check her out, and it seems like the neighbor's sheep have kind of got onto our property. So, we're gonna have to get a couple of these poor fellas, herd them up, and get them back next door. So check this out guys, wake up first thing this morning to realise that the neighbour's sheep have got into our yard. Poor fellow just wants to be with his mum. Oh, so me and Stephen have decided we can't really be bothered running all the way down to the back paddock just to herd a couple of sheep. So luckily, we've got the old commie. Let's go chase him in this bugger, eh? <laughs> oh, so now we've got to figure out where these fellas have got off to, eh? They're hiding already. That's how you herd a sheep back into its paddock. Oh, that gate's open, that's why they're getting out. Oh, so as we come for a bit of a flex out here, we've worked out how the sheep are getting in the property. Seems like some wallies left the back gate open. <laughs> well, we're gonna go have to head back down there and go shut it, and hopefully there's no more sheep on the property. Wait, there's one, bro. See, it cut out again. <laughs> <laughs> she held stool, bro. <laughs> I better check the oils in that man. Man, we're gonna have to check her before we take her back out today. Before you take her ever back out. <laughs> uh, so that was a fun couple of bashes around the paddock. Me and Steven decided, well, seeing we've got a bit of a bike track and we've got a bit of a drift track, why not? Let's build a full drive track on the property. We're gonna start with a small little couple of ruts and start building her out from there. We've got the good old Commodore here, so we've got something to test her out with, and yeah, I reckon this will be quite fun. Let's see how it goes and how much flex this thing can handle. She'll be right. <laughs> Dude, how deep are you making that thing? Deep enough, we're gonna have to get the full drive to get the commie out. <laughs> you wanna get through here, not get bogged, bro. Good old Ajax. Yeah. Oi, check this out, bro. Look what I found inside the bank here. Oh, that is crazy. Look at that. There we go. Put the jaw back together for you guys to show you. While Stephen and I are cutting the rut away, we found this fantastic skull sitting in the ground. That is preserved so nice. Dude, that is definitely gonna get cleaned up, hey? That is, check that out. That is so cool, guys. I wonder what sort of animal it is. Alright, so one thing that really sucks about Australia is every time you get into a bit of work, you are literally sabotaged by a hundred flies. This country has a population of like 100 billion, I don't know, just too many of the damn buggers. I swear to God, when the Poms come over here over a hundred years ago and they brought these fellas with them, they really should have taken them home. Now, they're just annoying the crap out of us. Take your damn flies home, guys. I'm telling you, it's not fun. You love the flies. No, they love me. <laughs> you reckon she's gonna make it through this time? Not a hope. <laughs> we'll give it a test run now. <laughs> Tell you what, bro, that is an absolute fantastic parking job you've done there. Cheers, man. Aim, please. Great A, mate. Oh, you reckon you're gonna make this? No. Go hard. Go hard or go home, bro. I am home. <laughs> Shot, 
That's the flex look. <laughs> flex look. You're completely off the ground with this tire, bro. Alright, let's get in the back. <laughs> GoPro, tumbleweed racing. How was that? <laughs> As they say, safety first. working overtime man I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, you guys. That was a hell of a bash this morning. So that's quite fun. Well, it's starting to get about lunchtime now. Me and Stephen got a bit of work to do on the property. So we're going to take the old Forby back and park the Commodore and got a little surprise to show you. So we've got some beautiful red hens from the neighbour and we thought we'd chuck them in this cage here. We've got about five of them, but unfortunately this cage is just a little bit too small. So today I reckon me and Stephen are going to try and build ourselves a bit of an extension. I don't quite think it's free range at the moment. Uh, so luckily this extension is going to be quite easy to make today. We found this old frame just sitting around the yard and I think we're going to get that into the ground about the same height as the cage is there and just wrap some chicken wire around it. Good. Uh, so the lucky thing is, there's a lot of scrap metal around the yard. So that means finding a gate for this new makeshift coop is pretty quite easy. Remember, safety first. Ah, uh, well, she's complete. We've got our gate on now, and our frame's all up. Only a little bit wobbly. <laughs> new home to be ready, guys. Ah, son of a bitch, <laughs> bugger bit me. <laughs> so much scrap metal around this place, bro. Alright, it's awesome. See what happens when dad's property, you dig deep enough, you find anything. That's a good roof, eh? Oh, so the thing that really sucks about this wire is it's high tensile. 
and it just keeps snapping if you don't twist it right. So I reckon it's about time to get the zip ties. That's it, time to build a chicken coop with zip ties. Good old trusty zip ties. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm happy as man. <laughs> Got it done in a day. Zip tie chicken pen. And we can let them out and watch them run around for the rest of the day, picking bugs and whatever it's doing. What do you reckon? Happy with your job today? Yep. Well, looks like now we've given our chickens a bit of room to move around. And they are keen. Oh, here we go. We've got that done in the nick of time, but bro. Oh, yeah, just starting to bang down. Look out there. Oh, that's broken down out there. That is intense. Oh, so it's starting to rain, guys. So I reckon I'm going to go jump in the old Land Cruiser and get a bit of shelter for a second. And work out what we're doing. Luckily, we got this finished in time. Check this out, bro. Got a hell old school air conditioner here. That's definitely something from the 60s. That's definitely something that needs to be rebuilt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. This old Land Cruiser is even in miles per hour. Check this out. Oh, You're breaking it already, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you broke it. Unfortunately, it started to really pour down outside, but luckily we got that chicken coop done just in the brink of time. Still, I won't let this get my day down. I reckon while it's raining and it's nice and muddy, we'll go back out of the track, maybe grab the Forby this time and see if we can get through it. Absolutely so muddy out here. It seems like a random tree has just fallen in the middle of the track. Lucky it didn't take the Navara out. Check this out. Just only avoided disaster there, eh, bro? So we took the four-wheel drive to the four-wheel drive track to see if it's any good and nah, it's still not good enough. The Commodore had a bit of trouble but the Navara just literally slices straight through. I reckon we're gonna make it deeper bro, what do you reckon? That track's half killed that Commodore already. Ah, so there you go guys, a bit of fun in the mud in the old Navara. Oh, it looks like the old Navara needs a bit of a wash again. Tell you what, that was fun but we had to settle down a bit because we ended up chopping up the property a little bit too much. But, you know, you gotta live. <laughs> oh, well. Now it's starting to warm up a little bit. Me and Stephen Foot will get back to our zip tied chicken coop. Hopefully, we can make it a bit more calmer for the little fellas. Also, oh, there you go, guys. Unfortunately, that's all we've got for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed watching us um, build our zip tied chicken coop. It's only temporary for now, but it does the job. Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode and you want to watch more, just keep watching our channel or subscribe for more episodes to come. Uh, well, I'm starting to get a bit hungry now, so. I reckon it's about time to go in, fire up the barbecue and get myself a feed. But cheers for watching. Get out of my vehicle!